And good morning, welcome back to Explore Foundations. This is Old Man Gib. And before we head out to go find and pick up this fighter that Captain Scott located for us out here. Uh, over here in Grand Exchange. I thought I would come in because we picked some stuff up off the lockbox over here in the void. And see what we could do with it. You know, we sold that miner. And I come up here over to the ship trader. There's a workbench. And it's got modifications. Now, these are modifications that we can do for our ship. Our weapons, shields, all so on and so forth. Now, chassis modifications. We can do them to... Uh, all we got is stuff for basic. So, like, if we wanted to change our radar range, we would need basic ship nano weave and invidium crystals. Okay. But I'm looking at our shields, and we've got the stuff to do a basic upgrade, which is going to add 5 to 20% to our shield. Okay. So. Let's see what this does. Our shield rate is 1200 megajoules. It's now 1312. Very nice. Uh, can, and we can do a medic or recha recharge delay mod. Um, we could also do Okay, we did that one. This is a recharge rate which is a uh, will increase how fast we recharge no we can't do that we can only do one looks like one per uh, deal of basics okay so what about our weapons can we do any here like damage we need a weapons chamber and high energy catalyst okay all right, well, <clears throat> we got our first mod done, which was increased our shields to uh, 1312, which is pretty sweet. And now we will head back. Let's save real quick so that we don't want to mix up so we got a little bit better shield now or the recharge rate on it is a little bit faster now then we were gonna head out and go check out that other ship and this time all right shift D all right dude I need the chair thanks cap motto greetings to you too all right, we're going to undock. Let's spin her out here. We are going to head off. Go get our next vessel. All right. Let's hold that while I set us in a course. For a, oh, would you find out here? out here? Would you find out here? Is this a uh, better? What do we got here? A courier vanguard. So that's another courier. Do we want a courier or a fighter? First, let's see. Well, we're just going to go in order. So we are going to head there. While Cap Scott, wow, it looks like that got busted up a little bit there. Or somebody flew into it. So we're going to because we can always uh, just store a uh, modern station. And if this fighter is any, is any decent, you know, we could uh, set a small fleet. You know, um, or a wing, 
give Captain Scott a wingman to go with him to provide security while he's exploring. You know, quite a few things, so. Go get that courier, and if that courier's a nicer one than Scott is, you know, then we can always take the nicer and give him a little bit more um, protection around him while he's doing what he's doing. So, we shall see the options are unlimited to us right now. And in the meantime, we're just making money. Let's see, we are up to almost 5 million credits now. Or again. So we're going to head there. Scott's and hanging out out there by the courier. Millions. See, can I take a look at that courier? He dropped two beacons out there. Let's see. Oh, it's too far to take a look at that. All right. Jump gate, grand exchange. All right. What do we got here? Where are Where are we at? We're up there. What was that? There? Well, we got a bunch of bunch of dudes out there. All right. System Grand Exchange. Well, hello, Grand Exchange. All right. Hey, let's not fly into the rocks, shall we, dear? All right. Good job. I remember back when we first got this game, and you put it on autopilot, and the autopilot was horrendous. It would, it would just didn't work real well at all. And it's doing pretty good now. Um, I wish. When you're on autopilot in these asteroid fields, it didn't have such a um, big collision avoidance, but I'm glad it does <laughs> in some most cases because um, in the small ships it's not so bad, but if you're in a bigger ship, yeah, it can be. Collision avoidance is real large because it can, you know, take you forever on autopilot to get around, so you end up having to manually fly, which is okay. Got Sita, uh, Singularity Engine Time Advancement, or whatever. I'm not exactly sure how it works. So, um, back in X3 Terror and Conflict, you could activate it, and it sped up time where, uh, for you, where you would actually fly places a lot faster. But I'm not sure if it does works the same in this or not because the lore in this game is the Sita is. Uh, basically ancient technology um, a, almost a lost technology and you've got to find the parts to build it and I got lucky enough to find parts on lock boxes and a couple wrecks um, or not wrecks but um, ships I blew up in order to get the parts to build a SATA 
So, um, yeah, but I haven't used it, and I just tried, and it shut down our uh, speed. So I'm not exactly sure what's how that's gonna how that works. So we won't mess with it for right now. Wow, that's cool. Entering brand exchange one. All right, we should be. This dude is annoying. Where's my messages? Is there a mission? deal here that I can There's not gonna, we're not going to find another lockbox out here, are we? That would be cool. Oh boy. Xenon raiding party. Okay, they're engaged. No, they're not. We got Xenon and Ka. Okay, they're all fighting each other. Good. Let's get them off our radar. I just soon not get caught up in a bunch of grief. Not while we're trying to salvage a vessel here. Disengaged. All right. Where's this ship at right there? Dude, leave me alone. Let's see. All right, there's our docking pod. These guys gonna be able to. I may need. To... What just happened? Are we under attack? All right, so. Where are you at, dude? M.
think I just lost my Marine or Marines. Yeah, and the Elite Vanguard got smoked. Dead gummit. And let's see. Personnel. Where's my crew? All right, we're down one Marine. Daggum. Well, that didn't work out real well. All right, so. Let us deactivate that nav beacon. And I guess we will set waypoint for there. Autopilot engaged. And all right, what did we get on that? We got a basic shield generator coil over what we had. Mixed fruit, needle, tuning software, hydraulic pump. All right. Well, we lost our fighter and we lost a marine, but we got a kill. And so now we will head over to this other courier. We found something out here. All right, what did you find, Scott? Osprey Vanguard. Okay, heck with that. We're we're going to that one. That is a like a cruiser. Turn off our webs. And while we travel there, I'm going to end this episode and I will catch you all in the next one. And probably when we get to the Osprey and we will go from there. In the meantime, this is Old Man Gibb and you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.